we back again with another Dragon Ball Spark and Zero video. The two for, for today, boy, I'm kind of on a roll, and we already got another video planned for this weekend, too. Be sure you subscribe to this channel. You do not want to miss that. But before I go any further in the video, I want to give a huge shout-out to this channel right here. I obviously don't know how to pronounce the name, but we have some more raw footage to react to today, so I'm going to be sure to link the original video as well as this channel itself down below in the description and the comments, so be sure to go subscribe to them. Leave a like on the video like I'm about to do right now before I even watch this. And let's hop right into the gameplay. Oh, we're going to get a look at the roster as well. Nice. Are you guys happy with how the roster looks right? Matter of fact, hold on, hold on, hold on. Before I even go any further. Wait, let's get the... Yeah, that's that's a nice shot of Goku. Before we go any further, bro, this is like page one. Okay, we're going to have to scroll down. So this, this is the first like bit of the roster. This is... See, this is 24 Gokus and Vegetas already. Holy. Are you guys, like, happy with how the roster looks right here? Or you would you want it to be a little bit more, like, have more width, like, uh, like Xenoverse, I guess? Or are you guys happy with having the scroll all day in the final version of this game, I'm sure? But off rip, I remember people saying in the last video, or not the last video, the one before that, about how, uh, oh, Great Ape looks sick. Let me go back a little bit about how Goku's models looked a little weird. Or maybe it was probably just Ultra Instinct because the Ultra Instinct model in the screenshot did look a little wonky. But in like when you see the smoothness in action, the Goku models look sick. I, the, Go the Vegeta models look better to me. That, that's just how I'm coming. But like, look, Vegeta looks sick. man. Oh, my God. Bro, oh they don't have uh, Blue Evolution and Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken on the roster. Or maybe they're just not in the demo version to try it. Oh, Trunks looks sick. Gogeta. Yo, who are you guys thinking about playing? I've been... There's so much for me to do when this game comes out. I'm not even sure who I would want to main at the end of the day. Obviously, I'm going to have to have a fusion in there. My main my main in Dragon Ball Fighters was Team Gohan, so I might have to play some Gohan too. I'm not going to lie. 18 looking immaculate. I don't know. How y'all... How, how? Okay. From what we've seen so far, we haven't even gotten to the raw gameplay yet. Hold on. Oh, we got... Oh, Bergamo's the last one. Okay, so we haven't even gotten to the raw gameplay yet. Guys, how how are the graphics looking in Spark and Zero in comparison to Kakarot? Because I feel like this is going to be an endless argument. And maybe until the game comes out, like for everybody. But I feel like this is a pretty, this, this is a pretty hot argument right now. Maybe it's just a recency bias. But I feel like Spark and Zero is hanging in there with Kakarot. Maybe not in the cinematic department, but we haven't even we haven't even seen too much of that yet. So I can't even really comment on that too much. Kakarot was extremely cinematic though, so it's gonna be hard to compete with that. And I got a got a visitor right here trying to watch with us. Also, we're gonna get a Hercule versus Majin Buu match. Let me let him down. I don't want to yell in his ear. Alright, so this we're officially into the raw gameplay now. I can't wait to see how they, oh my god. Hercule has no jetpack. Oh, we're already off to a bad start. No jetpack for Hercule. <laughs> I wanna say something about this camera, but I'm just gonna enjoy the match. <laughs> Oh my god. I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna get a headache playing this game. I may enjoy every bit of it, but I'm gonna get a headache playing this game. This camera is all over the place. It's it's kinda it's kinda like jarring. <laughs> Here's a present for you. <laughs> Head ass boy. Is that the rage counter I think it was? Okay, here we go with the follow-up. Is that his power up? Is that his charge up? Oh, it, I think it is. Yeah. That's sick. <laughs> the spotlight charge up is sick. I'm not going to lie. Bro, I, why why does my man not have a jetpack? Like, he's irritating me now. Or is there like a version of Hercule with a jetpack? Maybe that's the thing. But th this is the version that should have the jetpack. Okay, Hercule got some speed on him. Oh, 
Oh, I thought he just like pulled a super in the middle of it, like being in block stun or something. I was about to say, oh. Oh. Man, my boy Hercule is just levitating and stuff. Is this the first game? Oh my god. Oh my god, yo, Boo looks terrifying. Bro, is this the first game where they're just letting Hercule fly? Is this the first game where Hercule can just fly? Oh, we're getting a grade eight match? Oh, you a GOAT. You the GOAT, bro. Yeah, you guys gotta let me know down below. Is this the first game where Hercule can fly? Huh. Whoa. He got like the double voice thing going on. <laughs> Okay, Beerus versus Grade 8 Vegeta. This should be a breeze. Oh my god. Oh my god. Combo in the Grade 8 is nuts. I wonder if your uh I wonder if your follow-up combos change at all if it's a giant character. Obviously, I don't know what Beerus' base moveset is, so I can't say, but I, I wonder. Or if there's just any special interactions itself with fighting against the Giant. I guess that would be a better way to put it. But with this camera, actually fighting a Giant with this camera might be a little bit easy. <laughs> fighting somebody normal size. Oh, the cat. Oh, my God. Did y'all see how the camera just tilted right there? Yo, I thought the room. Bro, the room started spinning for a second. Wow. Okay, so just like in the past games, you can boost your super attacks. This looks good. I li I like the like the um the heavy sh like outlines and shadings. I like this art style a lot. The mouth movement could be a little bit better. But that, and that's, that's cool, though. The mouth movement could be a little bit better, though. Let's be honest. Oh. Wait, he's not picking future Gohan? Okay. So we got Gohan and Super Trunks versus the androids. MVP 17, excuse me. I didn't, I didn't realize that was the MVP right there. Oh, I thought he did it again. I wonder if the window is going to be exactly the same as it was in Tenkaichi 3. I think the um the Z counter window was different between 2 and 3. So I wonder if they're just going to have a completely different counter window for these games too. What, what was the Z counter window? I think the Z counter window in Tenkaichi 3, I think it even depended on if you were playing on Wii or PS2 as well. I think... The two systems had different counter windows also, so we could get really in depth. This is definitely a fusion of Rage and Blast and Tenkaichi though. For sure a fusion because they say that this is supposed to be the successor for Tenkaichi 3, but there's so many like even that even that right there, that was so reminiscent of Rage and Blast, bro. Oh, 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 that's why he's the MVP. So I wonder if you just uh block, you should be able to just block and uh wiggle the stick to deflect key blast again, right? Oh, he's transforming. Let's go. Does it, this go on just goes up to Super Saiyan 2, right? Yo, hold on. I didn't even realize. Bro, the icons look nuts up here. Bro, I don't even know who's, whose art style is that. Bro, the character icons look sick. Yo, yeah, your, uh, your icon lights up every time you take a hit. That's funny. I 
wonder if you can do the um the homing dash around like the same way you could in the old games where I think you just press it twice and you do the uh you can just zip all the way around one of those super attacks. Never seen go on use that. What, what was that? How was that an evasive skill, man? Uh let me get my combos off, man. Oh, Super Saiyan 2, let's go. Yeah, this one only goes to Super Saiyan 2. He had nothing else after this. The movement seems like it's gonna it's gonna take a minute to get a feel for it. Hopefully they smooth this camera out a little bit more. If you really just if you're really just focusing on that character, maybe it won't be as bad, but like if you kind of get distracted with the background and the stage destruction and all that, it can kind of the the camera feels a lot a bit like very drawn. Oh, this looks amazing. Damn it. Is that like a is that like a LF or something? Okay. So yeah, like they like they said uh, a couple of interviews ago, they did want the games to be longer. Well, long, I guess. Was that it? Yeah. So once again, thank you so much to this channel for uploading this, the, like some raw gameplay that everybody can watch and kind of dis dissect themselves. This was fire. We saw a lot of characters. Oh my god, like Trunks. Trunks and the Great Ape were two of my favorite parts. Like, watching Beers kind of struggle with a Great Ape, that was hilarious to me. But anyway, guys, hope you all enjoyed this raw footage. We had, I think, like three games. Things are looking good. The only, the only complaint that I have so far from everything we've seen is literally is the camera. And if there's nothing we can do about that, I'm sure I'll get over it in time. But everything else looks great. I like the art style a lot. I like the little things they did paying attention to detail, like making the icon light up every time you got hit. I like um, all the stage destruction and the, the battle damage and everything like that. The game, like the models themselves move really smoothly. The only thing that kind of worries me is that camera. But let me know down below in the comments how you guys felt about the gameplay. I enjoyed everything today. Hopefully, we'll see a lot more in the coming weeks, and October 11th is going to be a massive day. So anyways, have a great, great day. I don't know if there will be another video today, but if there is, make sure you guys have those notifications on. And they got to fix that grade 8 mouth too, but I'll see you all in the next one. Bye, guys.